But the joking seems to be as a way of coping with the difficulty of the situation, their nervousness in flying in snow may be due to their lack of experience. Um, there are instances uh, where they indicate the fact that the de-icing doesn't quite uh, help them. They also indicate um, and when they're going through their checklist and they're planning for the actual takeoff, they're talking about what they will do, uh, how they will take off, they will apply power, they'll let the nose wheel come off the ground, fly to 500 feet, reduce the power. Um, and their last comment is to uh, reduce it to a certain level depending on their level of comfort or, as they say, how scared we are. So I think they were very nervous about the situation. They knew that they were heavy. They had a lot of passengers and a lot of weight on board. And the snow only added to their weight. And that caused them some concern. And after you've listened to this for hours, literally hours on end, um, I think it becomes very apparent that the second word is actually off. Now you hear that whine, that's the, the application of power. You hear them talking about their engine instruments, say this is cold, this is real cold. This doesn't seem right. No, it's not right. It's the same guy. Says, no, I don't think that's right. You can he's he's really concerned about this and it's not performing right. He sort of resigns himself to it and says, Yeah, well maybe it is. Okay, at this point they've lifted the nose off the ground and they're flying. You hear the stick shaker, the da 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 da, -da sound, indicating that they're not flying fast enough. They're about to stall the, the wing of the aircraft. And the pilot is saying, forward, forward, we only need 500 feet. That was the sound of the impact. <laughs> 